I'm Danny Rogers. This is the Renal presented by Comerica Bank. We are going into week 11. Lions are traveling to the Browns where the Browns are trying to avoid a two game skid and stay above 500. We're getting the opposing view today, which brings me to ESPN's Jake Trotter, who covers everything Cleveland Browns. Jake, we're going to talk um, a couple of three big questions, three big topics here coming into today. The first one I want to get into, the Browns, they're in week nine. They put up 41 points. The following week against the Patriots, they only put seven points on the scoreboard and they allow over 40 points to Mac Jones and those Pats. So I've got to know, where are you seeing the biggest inconsistencies on, on either side of the ball? Yeah, there've been a lot of inconsistencies. I mean, that's the biggest difference I think between the team this year and then last season when they were so dependable, so reliable, you knew what you were going to get from week to week, you don't know with this team. And, you know, I think it starts with, with quarterback Baker Mayfield, who has uh, played really well at times, but at other times has not played uh, nearly as well uh, as he did last season. Uh, you know, the injuries are probably a big part of it. He's been playing with a torn labrum in his non-throwing shoulder since week two. He's got a uh, knee injury. He's got a foot injury on top of all of that. So, uh, he's been inconsistent, you know, they, they've had, you know, the Odell Beckham drama, uh, as well, uh, for a while, uh, now that Odell is with the Rams and then on the other side of the ball, I mean, they made a massive financial investment into upgrading their defense, you know, Jadavion Clowney, John Johnson, the third, uh, Troy Hill, they, they drafted Greg Newsom in the first round, uh, Jeremiah Owusu Karamoa in the second round at linebacker. Uh, both those guys have been starters. So they, they made this huge investment defensively and they're worse uh at least statistically defensively than they were last year so um they have shown at times that they can be a dominant defense uh and other times they've gotten completely lit up and just like with baker you don't know what you're going to get from week to week from the defense and so it's it's led to uh what has to be one of the most inconsistent teams in the nfl uh and i think that's a big reason why they are five and five right now in terms of the quarterback health, the Lions and Browns are mirroring each other right now. Detroit's quarterback, Jared Goff, suffered an oblique strain, so Lions are not sure if he'll be able to go Sunday. And then Baker Mayfield, like you mentioned, he is even more banged up in addition to that torn labrum. So uh, quarterback Baker Mayfield, if he is ready to go, what does this offense look like? And of course, what is the latest status on, on Mayfield? Yeah, Baker did not practice on Wednesday. We'll see about Thursday. Uh, you know, he said that he's still pretty sore uh, with the, the the knee contusion. I mean, basically his knee went numb after he took that hit in the Patriots game, which I think scared him a little bit. Uh, X-rays revealed no structural damage. So um, he's going to be okay long-term. But again, you know, just trying to get healed up as much as possible. And uh, Baker's a guy that, he, you know, you can't convince him to sit. Uh, he's only sat one game this year despite... Uh, all of those injuries. So he said yesterday, he told me yesterday, he's still planning to play uh, Sunday against Detroit. You know, the offense is not going to be that much different between Baker or Case Keenum. We saw that on that Thursday night, uh, Thursday night game against Denver where Case started for Baker. And, you know, a lot of play action. Running game is still going to be the bread and butter. Um, you know, the biggest difference is, is Case, I think, is a little bit limited compared to Baker in getting the ball downfield and really generating those explosive plays. So, um, that would be the biggest difference, I think, if they had to go with Case. But right now, um, you know, according to to, to the to Kevin Stefanski and to Baker himself, uh, the plan right now is for Baker to start on Sunday again. This Browns defense, like you had mentioned earlier, against the Pats, they let the Patriots convert on all but two third down conversions. And then this week, you heard Malik Johnson call out his his team and say, they need to step up there on the defensive end. So where do these Browns need to hone in on to get back on track here with the rest of the season down the road? Yeah, it's really strange because they are one of the best pass rushing defenses in the NFL. I mean, they're number two in the NFL in pass rush win rate. Miles Garrett has more sacks than a lot of teams in the NFL by himself. He's on pace to break the NFL single season sack record. And you would think that with a team that gets after the quarterback that they would be able to force a lot of turnovers. They don't force any turnovers. Uh, they, they're in the late 20s, uh, low 20s uh, in, in turnovers force. Uh, so that's been a big problem and a little bit puzzling uh, given the way they, they can get after the quarterback. The other part of it, they can be a really good defense at times. They're terrible on third down this year and they are terrible in the red zone. And 
I mean, you can give up yards. Uh, you can be kind of an average defense everywhere else. But if you are good on third down, you force field goals and you create turnovers, you can still be a great defense. It's the opposite with the Browns, where in the categories that matter the most, they are the worst. They're at their worst. So, um, you know, I th those are kind of almost ne nebulous things. Like, how do you get better at third down defense? How do you get better at turnovers forced? I mean, uh, you know, coaches, I think, always have a hard time explaining why they might be good at that or might not be good at that. You know, some teams just, just are are really good in those uh, situations and others are not. And it's kind of difficult to put your finger on it. And I think especially given that the Browns have Clowney and Miles Garrett and they can really get to the quarterback, like why they would not be able to force turnovers, it's it's strange. I mean, it's kind of an anomaly and, and I think speaks to uh, really this entire season where it's just strange that they haven't been able to put it together.